Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson, and today we're going to play with lights and texture and glitz with this wonderful little valentine. This is Mr. Frost. It is a Tim Holtz uh, colorized thinlets die. This one doesn't have a whole lot of parts, but there are a couple little fiddly ones there. I cut out his little branches out of some wood grain extra cardstock I had from other projects. Um, I did some leather grain for part the back part of the snowman, then the black for the middle, and then the white just on the top there. And a hat and a little band for his hat, the, the nose and the little scarf. So it's not near, there are some that are really intricate, but they do leave little indentations so they tell you how to stack them up. So they're not hard, you just have to keep track of all your little pieces and parts. I think it's kind of fun to puzzle it all together. I do think it's helpful if you have a fine needle tipped uh, glue like this. I did three layers with his branches. The two bottom layers are just plain brown. And then I used that wood grain cardstock, which was originally white. I had inked it for another project, but it comes in handy, especially for these little tiny things. You, I always keep my scraps. They're usually good for something. So there is one of his little arms. Now we're going to start the light mechanism. This was from a different uh, die set. It isn't part of Mr. Frost. And you start from the top and go to the bottom. The only thing that really has to be heart-shaped is the top one. So I'm going to just draw the heart in there and I'm going to die cut the heart as best I can. But like I said, if it, it could be a circle. It doesn't matter as long as it's behind the white. And if you see some black, you need to trim off the edges. Um, you can cut that off behind and no one is going to be the wiser. And this is what the top two layers look like. So we rinse, repeat, and do the same thing on the bottom layer. And once again, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, but we'll try our best. I'm just gluing everything together now. Part of it was uh, off camera, I my memory kind of died on my camera. And now it's time to get dressed. We can't have a naked snowman. I hope you're doing well. It is nasty weather here, a snow emergency. They're not wanting anyone out on the streets. We're getting sleet on top of that, but I know we're not alone. I have a piece of masking magic here. It's wonderful stuff. Um, and I'm going to cut the bottom snow because the texture paste will pick up any ink color that's below it. And I didn't want my snow to be blue. So I'm just making a little snow bank here for Mr. Frost to stand on. Super easy. Uh, no, no artistic ability needed. I'm going to place that down and make sure that it is good and adhered. And now I'm going to use some resist spray. This is fun stuff. Um, make sure that you take the sprayer out and wash it when you're done or you will ruin it. It's like a glue. When this dries, you'll be able to run ink over it and the, it, you can't color it. And it adds a little texture as well. It's really neat. I'll have all the colors of the inks below and over on my blog. I'm just pressing them out on my mat and I'm going to add a little bit of water and do some real messy water coloring. Nothing intricate, you'll see. I, I have a paintbrush here. It doesn't have water in it, but it was the closest thing because heaven forbid I would have to get up and go get something. So I'm just slopping on the mixture of the colors and I'm, you know, not really given a lot of care. The important thing is, is to layer, you need to dry between. You need to use a heat tool, um, not an embossing tool. It's too much heat. And I'm just pouncing it on lightly. And I kind of like the spots there, so I don't have a big problem with it. But if you do, you can dab them off with a paper towel. 
I'm kind of shaking it around, getting a little bit of streaks, putting it back in the box, and I'm using some shimmer mist. And this clogged up, so it's a good thing Ranger carries those spray bottle um, replacements. It's like three bucks for two of them. Very good to have around. So I sprayed the shimmer mist, and now you can, there you can see it. It just adds a little more something something to the sky. You can't have too much glitz. I'm wiping off the top of the resist spray spots with a paper towel in case some ink settled on top. It won't dry there um, because it's a resist, but we're going to reveal the bottom and this is where we're going to put our snow bank. And in order to do that, I need to mask the top, which is easy because I have the reverse of what I already cut out. And the, this masking magic will not damage your paper. So you can put it on top of ink, not a problem. And I'm getting out some of the grit, uh, snow grit texture paste that uh, Tim released last Christmas and some icicle or crackle paste. We'll get to that later. Um, you, I have a link where they still have it, but most places are sold out. I put a little dippy dab on the, try to put it on the back of my palette knife. Um, it's, it is a little dry. I, I had opened it, but I, I should have put some press and seal in there and I forgot. So I'm just pouncing it on there because I want it to look like a, a snow bank. I, I don't want it to be perfectly even and flush. And I'm not, you know, doing too much, making too much attention, just trying to cover up the area nicely. I'm going to link below because I have a tutorial called Let It Snow that a lot of people have really liked and it shows you all different ways and products of how to make uh, some snow. Uh, you want to clean your palette knife really quickly and pull off that masking uh, magic or it'll glue down. But you want to shut the lid really quick because it dries out and it's really hard to get off of palette knives and stencils and things. Now we're going to jump back to the snowman. I'm using Pear Blossom Press's Easy Lights, and they are super easy. It's all put together. You don't have to lay the circuits. You just, th this was a pack of five, and you just pull one whole thing out and one of the batteries, and it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Off camera, I took a Copic red marker and colored a corner on the vellum, and we'll get back to that in a minute. I started putting um, the shimmer pen on the snowman. I, I wasn't going to, I wanted him to be rustic, and then I, I went a little nuts with the, uh, it's, I just love the sparkle. It's, you know, not in your face. Put a little bit on his hat band just, just because. and. Then I decided I couldn't, this was an A5 card and there really wasn't a way for me to cut that down because the snowman's almost as tall as the card, the height. So I went ahead and just colored the edges a little bit to give them a little, you could have done it more, but I always take it one step too far and mess it up. So I usually stop short and I have all the edges. Well, my fingers had all that ink on the, from the corners and I didn't know it. So we'll get to what problem that caused. I decided the snowman also needed to have a little bit of shading. He was just too stark. So I rubbed a little bit of, of blue all around the edge. I think that's probably, I don't think it's speckled egg. I'll, uh, I'll look, I think it could be broken china. And I just was running along the edge. Well, I was putting little fingerprints on Mr. Snowman. And it wasn't, it didn't wind up erasing off very well. So I'll show you what I did to repair that. That's where the uh, icicle paste comes in. And I'm trying to be real careful. I, I didn't really want it all over him, but it wound up being... So I decided to go with it and kind of dot it around and I still didn't like it. So there he is. Now, I wasn't thinking and I got all excited and started to glue him down. 
Well, as you see to the right, I didn't put the light mechanism in. So it, I do this kind of stuff all the time. Getting out of binds is one of my specialties. So I'm gluing everything down, happy as a little camper, and trying to get my heart just in the right place because that's where I'm going to put the, the press mechanism behind that heart. And I'm just gluing this down and I'm more concerned about the little branch and all the other little unimportant things. Um, off screen, I embossed uh, a crazy sayings. It's one of Tim Holtz's um, <clears throat> Stampers Anonymous sets. It goes with the crazy talk. It's called Crazy Talk. It goes with crazy cats and all of that. And I'm using a T-roller to make sure that it's straight. Um, and I'm looking at this and it's like, oh, there's kind of all that blank space. So I just, that little heart originally was going to be the heart to press, but then I realized it was really too small. So I, I didn't want to throw it out or, you know, so there we go, all decorated. No problem, even added shimmer to it. Then, dun dun dun. This is all, I did most of it off camera, but basically I took my craft knife and cut an X and then flipped it over. And you can pry away, like the earlier hearts, you can pry away anything you need to do to have it not show. It's not beautiful on the back, but nobody will ever know. And I just kind of kept picking at it. Ah! I recommend to do it earlier. I'm putting that piece of vellum with the ink side on the back of the vellum so it won't, won't rub off. And I'm starting to set up my mechanism. I wanted to make sure I got that behind where I put the heart that I had already stamped press on using double-sided tape. And I'm sorry, some of this is off film. My camera's positioned and I can't change it a little further back than I want. And I'm just, I went ahead and got that tape to the back. And now I hate wasting little lights, but three lights come on every strand and I, it was just too bright. So I cut off those and just, and, and it won't hurt a thing. And then I thought that red needed to be a little darker. And I taking the one strand and I'm just going to take some scotch tape and tape it down. I'm trying to get the little tiny light bulb in the middle of the heart. I don't suppose it's a big deal if it's not. And I'm testing it. Yep, it works fine. So just taping the rest of it down. And I have no idea why I thought anything would change, but I need to test it again. I got out the Heffy Doodle thicker foam tape, and I'm just going to apply it to the back. And you can see you just want to keep it so that you can't see it from the edge very much, and it just uh, protects that mechanism. I always open my card, and that's the best way to place them. Normally, I would stick it in the edge of my mat that had a lip, but I'm not using that water media mat. So I just had to go by eyeballing. And there, there's the card so far. But I can't leave well enough alone, even though I can play with it. And I... The, it was bugging me. You can't really see those blue smudges that I tried to erase, but all I had was regular cardstock, and it started to pill up. And so then I thought, okay, well, if it's going to pill up, it pilled up several places. There's really nothing you can do. Um, so I decided to see what this crackle paste would do. So I got my craft knife back out again. Because this is kind of a little, this is not an easy thing to apply in tight spaces, but I did what I could. You want, you don't want a real thick layer, but it's got to be thick enough to crackle. And I'm just kind of painting it on there. It's not real easy. It's kind of uh, soupy. It's, it's, it's runny. 
Um, it's not like grit paste in that respect. And I'm just trying to tap it in, make sure I have a little bit of coverage everywhere. And I'm kind of dotting it on to, so it's a little mottled and, and not real flush and flat and smooth. So this is what it looks like when it's wet. I, I fix a little bit of those little dimples there in a minute. I went back with the snow snowfall grit paste to put some snow in front of the snowman because he, he really wouldn't be sitting on top. So I'm just kind of poking a little bit more on and just finishing up, kind of making it look drifty. Then I decided since I had the snowfall out that I would add a little bit to the top of his hat just for a little more texture and frosting. A little dabble do ya. And so here's the wet card. But here's the dry card. And it doesn't take very long to dry. Look at that texture on the snowman. That not that amazing? And then our snow texture, it glistens. You just, it's hard to see. And of course we have to check the heart again. And yes, he's beaten. I hope you enjoyed this and that you'll follow me, like and subscribe, tell your friends. I'm going to leave some videos here for you to watch until next time. Stay safe if you're in this nasty weather and take care. Bye-bye.